Hi, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this podcast. I really do appreciate it. We've just come through the National Day of Prayer uh, annual observance, and during this season of the year, with that in mind, the National Day of Prayer causes me to reflect a lot about our nation. Uh, I probably lean in that direction anyway, because as one who intercedes, uh, that's the direction I really feel God off, often has me pointed in. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2 says that, first of all, we're to pray for the kings and all who are in authority, uh, that we might have a, a live a godly and peaceable life. And so I take that uh, charge very seriously. And, and so that's where my heart really kind of leans to begin with. Uh, and then with the National Day of Prayer, it's redoubled. And a couple of the scriptures that I have been focused on during this annual uh, observance is they come out of Psalms and Proverbs. Uh, one that we really love a lot is Psalm 33, 12. It says, blessed is the nation whose, whose God is the Lord, the people that he has chosen as his own inheritance. And we feel like we live there, that God's our Lord. He's the one. Um, and for us individually, I think that that very well could be true. And yet as a nation, I question and I wonder, is, the God, is God really our Lord, the Lord of the United States? And that's my prayer. So that's how I pray about that thing. Um, but listen to the verses that precede that, verses 10 and 11. It gives maybe just a little bit different picture. The Lord frustrates the counsel of the nations. He restrains the purposes of the peoples. The counsel of the Lord stands forever and the purposes of his heart to all generations. And so we receive a lot of counsel and, and people spout off about uh, what's right, what's wrong and all of that. And we've got a lot of that going on now with the Supreme Court leak, uh, you know, people wanting to give their two cents worth, uh, put their advice out there in the public square. And really the important thing isn't so much of letting you know how I feel, uh, as much as it is, I'm going to pray about this thing, and I really do want God's will to be established. Uh, it's, it's God's counsel that I'm seeking for our nation. And uh, we see signs of unrest beginning to build as we're heading into the summer months. Uh, let's all be praying that uh, this is a peaceful summer, um, that, that God will preserve our nation and, and God will save us. So, uh, Proverb 14.34, I think, is a great uh, it's just a great verse. It says, righteousness exalts the nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. We don't want to be involved in one of the sins that the Lord says uh, is one of them that he hates the most, and that's the shedding of innocent blood. Um, the Supreme Court is uh, still weighing the Dobbs case, and that's one that comes out of Mississippi on abortion, uh, banning abortions after 14 weeks of gestation. And I just want us all to be in prayer about that, that, uh, that we as a nation would head in the right direction um, and, and that God would, uh, that he would provide his counsel for us and, our, and for our leaders as well. But uh, just wanted to encourage you, uh, God is still on the throne. Um, we may see some uprisings this summer, but hold fast, don't become discouraged, don't become fearful. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. That's where I'm standing, and I hope you are too. God bless you.